I came to Washington sneaking up on 1976, and I used to run around town saying, Museum on the Mall by the Bicentennial. My name is uh, Mike Collins. Uh, at one time, was in the space program on Project Gemini and Apollo, which you know is the first flight to the moon. Then after that, I uh, was lucky enough to be director of, of this museum, the National Air and Space Museum. So many of the things that are in it, the artifacts in it, are old friends of mine, and, uh, and, and some of them uh, way before my time. We were supposed to open uh, July 4th, 1976, and we actually beat it by three days, July 1st, 1976. Uh, we were uh, supposed to cut the ribbon out here, the ribbon on the mall side of the building, declaring it open. The signal came from a spacecraft between here and Mars in outer space, and uh, I was holding my breath, you know, I was thinking all those electrons gone, lost up there in space and all these VIPs standing around looking at this ribbon and this mechanical shearing device and nothing would happen. But believe it or not, all the electrons did their cute little things and the ribbon got snipped and the building got opened. It was, it was good. At the peak of the Apollo program when Neil Armstrong stepped out onto the surface of the moon, <laughs> That, I think, was kind of the peak of the interest that the American public had. Buildings like this do a lot to sustain that level of interest, and, and, and that's one of the things that I think is very important about this beautiful surrounding, the National Air and Space Museum, which is a vital part of the Smithsonian Institution.